Hey, good evening. What's up, Jose Wilfredo? Hello, teacher. How's it going? So far, it's good. Today, you know, it's a housework. Oh, really? Just yep. today? Uh, yeah, just today because uh, some day before we worked in some meeting because we are synchronized some uh, servers because I don't know if you know, uh, concentric uh, uh, web help. What web and help? Can, yep, concentric uh, Bob web help. Oh, I kind of heard that. Yeah. Uh huh. So that's the reason that I have to do some days. I have to go to the building, uh, because uh, we are synchronize everything. Some server from Nix that is the main tool that we use to to plot on schedules and so on. So that is the reason that I had to go to the building. But today, I will stay at home. Awesome. Yeah. So awesome. Okay. Man, today, um, today's class gonna be cheering up. We're gonna make it fun. Okay. Indiana is driving and it's raining. Be careful, Indiana, please. Gracias in the darkness. Always with her. Hmm? Always with her, like Darth Vader said. <laughs> Oh my God. Has it been raining? Are you in San Salvador? You're in San Salvador, right? No, I live in uh, San Tecla. Oh, is it cold? Uh, uh, no, not at all. I want to tell you the uh, temperature is in 75 degrees. 75? Yep. So it's not. Funny height. Not cold, yeah. We're in El Salvador. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I believe that will be a hot night. Yeah. No, well, no, because at least here in San Salvador, in Mexicanos, it's like it's been like uh, cloudy all day. Uh -huh. Very it's cloudy. Raining. It's been raining. No, here no. No, here. <laughs> oh, okay. Where is, oh my God, I haven't opened the attendance. Oh my God, we're just three. Where are the others? Oh, excuse me, today is payday, right? For the mortals. <laughs> I don't know what that, what that means. That means that I don't get paid every other week. I get paid, well, actually, yeah, I do. I get paid every other week from one of my jobs. And... On this one, I get paid every every have? other month. Uh, right now, just two, just to to um, let's say, two employers. Mm. Yeah, I work. I work uh, as a mortal on the call center, and then oh, really? I, where do you yeah, work? Yeah, I mean, I mean at Black Hawk. Uh, mm -hmm. what's your position? I'm just an agent on the back office. Do you want to be a WFM part? <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm yeah, well. thinking i'm thinking about it you know because i'm tired but the thing is that the schedule you know i'm here because of the schedule i'm from 5 a.m to 12 30 uh let's say monday through saturday saturday used to be my my short day and i'm doing like 7.5 hours mm -hmm. every day Somebody has been playing Seven with hours. me. 7.5 a day. Okay. Yeah, and I only have one day off, uh, which is Sunday typically. But for now, and there's OT, you know, there's overtime. It's part of the times. 
Mm -hmm. So that that's good. It's actually very good. But right now there's no overtime, so we're suffering a little bit. Hold on, on high. There it is. It's Thursday, the fifteenth. Yeah, so uh, I was at Concentrix when it was stream. It had recently changed to the other thing. What was the next name? Stream. Then it was. No, it was Concentrix right away, right after a stream. Mm -hmm. No. Converges. Converges. Yes. Then it became Concentrix. Mm -hmm. And also, teacher, many of us work six to four p.m. But when you know the system, uh, you know the system. The boss needs help with many things. You need to help, like what I'm doing. But most of them work six to four p.m. Six to four. Six a.m. to four. Yeah, the thing is that I I always leave my job at twelve thirty. You know, I finish my job at twelve thirty, and then I rush. To uh -huh. pick up pick up the kids around converges actually uh -huh. centric I'm sorry um very close there today mm -hmm. today I I went to pick them up and the car overheated uh what? yeah so I I, I was at Salvador del Mundo and then I stopped at Dollar City uh -huh. and I started like opening the um the oh. Oh my God! How do you call this thing? Hold on. Mm. The hood. Yeah, I opened the hood and and opened the um. Oh my God! I just forgot the name of that thing, where the water goes. You know, so I just opened it because it, it was doing a lot of um vapor, a lot of steam was coming out of out of the hood, but I knew I knew it was overheating. So that was really weird. Because I, I know what I did. <laughs> you know, that's the great part. When you repair a car, you know what is failing. Mm -hmm. And so I stopped there. I opened the hood. Started opening little by little. Uh, and then just let it take all the, the, all the pressure out of it. Uh -huh. And then add, leave the coolant come off. Uh -huh. Anyways, it was new coolant that hurt. But anyways, I just waited. And I started checking on the connections. The fan was off. The fan was off. So I was like, hmm, there's something wrong here. What is the brand of your car? It's a Volkswagen Golf. Oh, that happened a lot. 1978. Yeah. It's a, a Rabbit and a Mikauno. I love it, you know. But really I, quick, I, I found the problem. A cable was unplugged. A cable was unplugged. So I, I rushed and get a knife, peel it off, reconnect it, and everything was good. That, like that. Is, is, that's what I love about these cars, you know. with When you have a lot of computers working for your car, I mean, something goes bad and you don't know what it is. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. That's insane, and you have to call uh, these people to lift it. You know, you gotta be told. And that, the that's brand, yeah, the brand is really good, but when the fan fails, it is always overheating. Or 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 yeah, not in mine, because it's very simple. It's a very simple system. You wow. you will you will laugh. I mean, it's just the fan with the alternator um, working directly sometimes and uh, there's an inter it has an intercooler so i know how it works you know that that's what i want to tell you that i was very happy that to find out that i, I was able to fix that really quick it didn't take uh -huh. me too long it didn't take me too long so i figure out the problem and so and and the good job i did <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing when you have repaired and change an engine you know you go like wow i did something good mm -hmm. Finally. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, I was very happy. And my son was helping me, my youngest kid, you know, and people was admired because he was turning on the engine. He was 
telling me what to do, you know, giving me ideas. There were like three taking pictures of the car. <laughs> it was so funny. Everybody was like, what are you doing? Be careful. You can get hurt, you know. And then and he was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he, he was the one that actually told me, hey, you know what? This is not touching ground. The ground cable is 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 unplugged. That he said, and I was like, "Oh yeah, you're right. I knew it already." But <laughs> but he was. I, I like I like to to let him feel that he finds the solution to things oh. because he he's 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 right. I mean, when he's right, I tell him, "Great job, good job. You're doing great." Okay, Fernando, you're heading home. Okay, tonight we have to continue with our topic. Uh, the topic is identify successful sustainability strategies. Strategies now, in order to find uh, su successful sustainability strategies, we need a glossary. We need vocabulary to talk about that. So we will get there. Right now we are ten. Yeah, we are ten so far out of fourteen. So let me do the attendance really quick. Please turn on your camera. So we can get this going, okay? Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. She's not here, and that's really weird. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa said he was going to be in a parents' meeting. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Hello. Your microphone, okay. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. He said he's driving home. I got you, Fernando. Don't worry. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Not here today. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Okay. Thank you. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, I see you. I see. Don't worry. Don't worry. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Gracias. I get nervous when somebody's driving, you know, like, oh my God. Jose Alfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Thank you. Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. What's going on with Juan Miguel? Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present. Your microphone. Welcome. Thank you. You're working still. Okay. I got you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Great. Good evening. Good evening. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Oh, there you are. Okay. Good. So we're missing four exactly out of 14. That's good. That's all good. So what's in it today? Okay, first of all, yesterday's class. What was the last thing uh, we talked about yesterday, remember? We watched a video, right? Okay. Oh. The three pillars of sustainability, which are? Uh, social, economic, and uh, environment. Environmental, social, and economic pillars. What was the environmental pillar about, everybody? I only have three students and a half. <laughs> because Ileana is driving, so the others have the camera on, but the others are off. Come on, guys. Join the class. Remember that this is what they're here for. Okay, so what's the environmental pillar about? What what does it talk about? You can go to your WhatsApp, check the image if you want. It has to do on good practices that are environmentally friendly. Okay. Like reducing the um, gas emissions, right? CO2 emissions and all that. Yeah, the carbon footprint. The carbon footprint. Yeah. You already have a lot of vocabulary about this topic. Okay, good job. What is the social pillar about? 
It's based on the equality for all the employees. It's based? It's, it's based, yeah. Uh-huh. For the equality for all the employees and all the, the maybe the all the person because they give the opportunity for everyone. Yes. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I have a new word for you. Let me give you a new word. <laughs> I always forget this word and it hurts. My left leg, I just got a cramp. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to stand up. Give me one second. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys, but yeah, I hate when that happens. It's just, I'm, I'm, I have a new chair, by the way, for Father's Day. My, my, my wife just gave me a, a new executive chair, <laughs> and I liked it. Yeah, it actually has a massage. How do you call this? A massage therapy? I don't know. You plug in a, a USB, and it gives you massages. I wish it was for the legs because. That's the part that really affects you when you spend too much time sitting. You're not always from home, right, Jose Wilfredo? Um, yeah, maybe. Or I work five days in a week, so maybe. Uh, that depends because if I have to go to the to the office, they uh, let me know ahead of time. Advance. Yeah, in advance. Okay, but typically. Typically, well, for those changes, I went to the office. You, you're uh, you're going more often to the office. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, I, this is because of spending too much time sitting. But anyways, okay, I have to do exercise. That's reality. <laughs> okay. Man, that really hurts when that happens, and it's on the upper leg, you know, behind the the knees. Uh -huh. on the upper leg man hey that that that's what is calling my attention about converges i'm sorry concentrics uh to go to the gym you know well, but i believe that you only drink you you only need to drink some water yeah i drink a lot of water uh, <laughs> cheers <laughs> <That's good. laughs> you know what yeah let's drink some water you need to drink more yeah, definitely. Okay, so that was the social uh, pillar. What about the economic pillar? Had some discrepancies there. Wendy. What's there to say about the economy, the eco economy pillar? <clears throat> ability to contribute to economy and development and grow and grow the cono the um I don't know about the environment in in the community mm -hmm. when it comes to economy to the economic part something that called my attention was something that said on the chart total shareholder return total shareholder return but it also talks about risk management uh so when you when you build a social project you know it's very risky most of all if you're investing your money i mean that that's really dangerous um you 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 should go with the idea that you're going to lose money if by default let's say any kind of business is risky when you invest your money, can you imagine doing a social program where you're helping others? I don't know. The expectancy of returning, uh, of return of investment is, is lower. It should be, or it is much lower than in a regular business, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. 
Okay. Now, one thing is for sure. I've heard. That's what I have heard. That government is uh, softer, let's say, with social impact projects. If you are starting on your own business and you do all of the all of the chores, let's say the errands that you need to do to establish your business in a regular basis, there's a lot of requirements from the government. But when it comes to social entrepreneurship, let's say, or social enterprises, governments are more open to help you. They're, they sometimes, and especially this government, is becoming more interested on, on people developing social programs. Of course, I don't know if you have seen many videos on TikTok or YouTube, there are social programs in disguise, right? There's people trying to help others, but taking advantage of it. They ask for money and they say they're going to help X community and they never do it. They never do it. And so that was some kind of some kind of scam that was going on on social media. Did you you watch any videos like that or did you hear anything like that? No. Well, now you know. Heads up, be careful. I really want to start the class with um, a game that I have prepared that I don't see too many people interacting. So let's just wait for it. We're going to move on with um, your book. First of all, we need to find an example of social entrepreneurship, of a social enterprise. Let, help me. Have you heard of any social enterprise? Yep. Gracias. I have heard of a social enterprise that I actually got an invitation to. It's called Manos Que Ayudan. No, no. Uh, can, can you write it? Uh, Manos Que Ayudan. Oh, uh, Manos Que Ayudan. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think it has to do with uh, helping kids uh, in difficult situations, but like very small kids. I don't have many details, but yeah. That sounds great. So that's like uh, un techo para mi familia. I, I don't know about un techo para mi familia. No? Mm -hmm. Jose Alfredo, you know any, uh, any company? Actually, uh, as, as call centers, uh, we try to help some communities, uh, some, some social pro programs, right? Uh, our company actually tries to help um, two two main um, social enterprises or projects. One of them recently was planting, planting, going and planting. Um, that was one of them. And uh, they give us the plans from um, municipality, from a town hall, and we go and plant it somewhere on Saturdays, the whole morning. Last time was in Santa Ana this last weekend. And there's another activity, another uh, NGO that releases totals. They release totals. I don't know if you are familiar with that as well. You can go and release the totals with your family. Yep. Yeah, uh, one time I heard, I heard that my the concentrics uh, made that uh, um, activity. And also, I heard the other one that uh, they clean the lake, all the the shores of the lake. They clean it. Man, that's another one. But that's mm -hmm. a lot of work. That involves a lot of work. Okay, so let's read some concepts, um, and that will help us through this class. The first concept is what is a social enterprise? What what how is it how is a social enterprise different from a business? Um in general we have the the whole picture, right? The big picture, but let's get deeper into this. So what is the difference? 
how is social entrepreneurship different from a business, a regular business? I think this letter is too big and too bright. Hold on. It's a little bit better, but still too shiny. But anyways, so how is a social enterprise different from a business? Who can help me? Just one. Korean? <laughs> yes. Okay, I go. Sure. How is a social enterprise different from a business? Traditional business ideas can also come from identifying a social need, but the difference between a social inter enterprise and a traditional businesses is the motivation of the entrepreneur. The primary motivation for a traditional entrepreneur is more often than not a desire to make money, whereas a social entrepreneur is driven uh is driven fit fist and foremost by a passion to solve a social problem setting up as a business or using market principles in example selling products or services is used as uh, machines to solve the social or environmental problems they seek to impact. To impact, thank you. Wow, okay. Identifying a social need, identifying. So traditional business ideas can also come from identifying, identifying, identifying a social need, but the difference, final sounds, final sounds, the difference, okay. Um, a traditional business is a traditional business is you try to make a pause to separate the words and then entrepreneur entrepreneur you misread that word where is where is yeah that that's a connector right uh -huh. it's a conjunction where is uh, what's a synonym of where is meanwhile uh -huh, or on the other hand. Excellent. That's what I was thinking about. On the other hand, a social entrepreneur is driven, 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 <laughs> driven fist. What do they mean by that? Is driven fist and foremost. What is foremost? Shouldn't it be driven first and foremost? Are they missing an R? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Is driven first and foremost by a passion. Yes, I agree with you. There's an R missing here. Excuse the, the editing. And foremost by a passion, passion to solve a social problem. Setting up. Setting up as a business. Or you, yeah, setting up. It's like, what's the synonym for setting up? To put something together, right? To to put up a plan to start something from scratch, maybe setting up as a business or using market principles is used as a mechanism. Mechanism. Nism. 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 Social. Uh -huh. Socialism. Let me. Get some list here. Imperialism, magnetism, fanatism, feminism, skepticism. I like that one. Skepticism, egoism, paganism, altruism. And there's a lot of isms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's always ism, ism, ism. Okay, mechanism, mechanisms. Oh, maybe to solve the social or environmental problems they seek to impact. So in your own words, what's the difference between a social enterprise and a regular business? The desire to make money. <laughs> the desire to make money from a regular business. Okay. So what does a social entrepreneur look for? 
the desire to help others. Maybe. Hey, there you go. Yeah, I was reading that as well. It's just the the motivation of the entrepreneur. The primary motivation for a traditional entrepreneur is more often than not a desire to make money, whereas a social entrepreneur is driven first and foremost by a passion to solve a social problem. So um, that's it. You want to solve an issue in the society. Huh. Hmm. Do you think that making the whole Salvadorian community in poverty speak English will be a great idea? Absolutely. Are you sure? Well, I think so. <laughs> think about it for a minute, Jose Wilfredo. Historically, since 2003, I was at the first uh, workshop, let's say, no, the first recruiting, the first recruiting campaign from Dell on floor 16 of the Telefonica Tower, 2000, mm -hmm. 2003, 20 years ago. I was at the 16th level of that tower. So happy, so motivated. But it was in a rush. There was a huge line of homies, deportees, <laughs> a whole lot of people, that I have never seen in my life, and it was my first time actually looking for a job in English. Everybody was speaking <laughs> so fluent, man. Everybody was, oh, come on, man, come on. Oh, yeah, yo, yo, yo. And I was like, well, I don't know what the hell are they talking about, right? Okay. <laughs> then you used to walk to the lobby. They used to check if you had, if you were carrying any weapons or anything. Um, I didn't have any tattoos, of course, but all my colleagues looked like gangsters. Anyways, <laughs> we went to the elevator, got to the 16th floor, and boom, as soon as the doors opened from the elevator, everything was dark. You know, just some lights like a disco, you know, and there were five, kind of five desks with gringos. Just making questions. Hey, what's up? What's your name? Uh, my name is Rafael. Okay, great job. Good. How old are you? Um, I don't know how old I was. What twenty years? Old. I'm twenty one. I'm twenty one. Great job. Where are you from? I'm from Santa Ana. Good. Okay. Why would you like to work with Dell? Uh, because, um, honestly, I really because need. This. I want to earn money. <laughs> I, I want to make more money. This is uh uh okay next thank you very much leave us your resume we will contact you very soon i was like thank you enjoy your day it's like what did she say i was learning still man that was 2003 the same day oh no 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 yeah like a year and a half later i applied to attento man but that was so discouraging because they they actually talked to me for like a minute or some. Now I understand that when you know English, you you are able to to identify if somebody can speak or not. You see? So, oh my God! But I never forget that experience, man. It was crazy. So what I was about to tell you, the what is it? Labor poll, Gracia? Labor poll? Employment poll? I I employee poll. Is it pool like uh, genetic genetic pool? Mm, it's just that there's a bucket of people ready to work in call centers. Let's call it that way. But okay. It will be pool because pool is an English term. Uh -huh, so yeah. So the, the employee pool in El Salvador was reduced with uh, as time went by. You know, from two thousand three until now. Right now, call centers are taking just whatever they can get. I mean, if the PV, if the person can speak English or not, is they go like, ah, it will improve whenever they're on the floor, right? <laughs> Man, I have seen so many grammar errors, and I'm as a teacher, you know, I read my coworkers' notes, and I'm like, oh, no, she didn't. No, he didn't. Oh my god! Right, my eyes. Anyways. Thank God 
they have a job. That's for sure. And, you know, they're, they're giving an opportunity. But that tells me that they need more people who can speak very well English. Now, what will happen if you had a whole bunch of people speaking English like me? Just with this this accent, you know, or almost good, you know, almost like native. Because I don't like bragging. I don't, I don't like saying that I have a native accent. That's a lie. I have never been out of El Salvador. And I don't like using like a lot of uh, jargon or I don't know. If you have heard me, if you have pay attention to my words, you you cannot say that I use some things like gonna, wanna, get a, right? That's not me. I'm more like Sinatra. <laughs> On my way of speaking. That's the way I like it, you know, more professional. So my point is, what will happen? Will we have more call centers, maybe? I don't know. So I'm leaving you that thought. Gracias. I, I will think that maybe <laughs> it will improve in specific ways because whenever you have access to English, you will have also access to better education. So that will improve in a certain way, but it will also have its uh, downsides. I cannot tell you which ones it, but I think that academically, that will be an improvement. That's our expectancy now. Downsize, you know what happened with call centers in 2000, between 2003 and 2013, I can tell you by my experience, I'm not an economist, but I noticed something. The payrolls were increased and the Seguro Social payroll, um, they changed the roof. It was like 365 before, and it was moved to seven or 785 later, you know, like the, the top of what you could do for the uh, social and seguro social. So logically, I mean, if we have a lot of people making over, <clears throat> over $700 a month, that will increase as well. The PIV will increase, and so many good things will happen, but that is not so good in some areas. Anyways, only God knows why, as Kid Rock said. So what are the main objectives of a social enterprise? Iliana, good evening. Enjoy your meal. Thank I you. Guess. <laughs> Would Hi. you help us? Yeah. Well, what are the main objectives of a social enterprise? because of the different motivations that drive, drive the two types of entrepreneurs, we must consider that their businesses will function a bit differently. We often hear the business world talk about focusing on the bottom line business practices that lead to increased monet monetary profitability. In comparison, social businesses focus on double or triple, bottom line businesses practices that lead to social, environmental, and economic profitability. <laughs> Not an easy word, I know, profitability, profitability. profitability. Focus, focus on the T in the middle of two hours, and that's gonna help you pronunciating profit, profitability, profita, profita, profitability, profitability. That's one of the things that I learned from, I forgot his name. Oh my God, Maldonado. Oh, but this guy was a trans, he was a trans, now he is a she. That's what I heard. I can't remember his first name. A great a great person, a polyglota. How do you say polyglota in English? I forgot. But this guy could speak like five different languages. Among them, Portuguese, Spanish, French, English four and I forgot the fifth one German I think he was very smart okay and he taught me many things one of them was this uh, when you learn a new word break it in parts you know if you want to repeat it to the perfection because in the end English is just about that mimicking others uh, if you remember I I shared with you a page that will help you pronunciating words when you don't know them. I wanted to look for this one. It's not focusing, focus, no, focus, focus. It's it's like an E, focus. 
Oh, it's not loading. I don't know why. Okay. Hmm. Somehow that website is not loading right now. But anyways, I guess it's the bandwidth. So what are the main objectives of the social enterprise? On the bottom line of business practices that lead to increased monetary profitability. A regular business only looks for money. A social enterprise keeps in consideration the three pillars that we started yesterday, right? As we started this class. Okay. Well, you, you wish didn't open. So sad. Okay. What qualifies as a social enterprise? We have some um, quotes. I'll share this link later with you so you can take a look on it. Okay. What qualifies as a social enterprise? Give me just a minute. Who else is here that would like to read for us? Now, I want you to, to uh, practice something. Intonation. Intonation. Um, Gracia, would you like to try? Here. What quali qualifies as a social enterprise? Social enterprise is the practice of using market-based entrepreneurial strategies for the purpose of progressing an organization's social or environmental impact. Social enterprises can take many forms and are not restricted to one particular legal structure or business model design. Social entrepreneurship uses business models, selling products or services to solve social problems, trick a foundation. Organizations that address a basic unmet need or solve a social problem through a market-driven approach, social business alliance. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Do you like reading? You mentioned it, right? Yeah, I do like to read. Would you recommend me a book? Uh, I'm currently reading a book, but it's fiction, so I'm not. A sure fiction book. I love fiction. It's yeah, that's the of mine thing. from the same author of the Maze Runner. Could you text it to me because <laughs> I didn't hear you well. Okay, I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Francisco is here. Okay, so uh, I think we got the general idea, right? Um, this is has always triggered my attention. It was like using market-based entrepreneurial entrepreneurial strategies for the purpose of progressing an organization, social or environmental impact. Do you think that social entrepreneurship, social entrepreneurship started with the, with our generation, with the millennials generation? Because one of the, one of the, I don't know, that's just a thought. It's just a thought. But our generation wants to impact, you know, create impact. I don't know if you have seen uh, Simon Kinnick, Simon Sinek. Simon Sinek's speech, no? I'll share it with you as well. This guy gave a speech and he became famous because he's a social thinker. He, he's like a social psychologist. He studies society and he studied why um, seniors were acting the way they are acting. And this is an old video, an old inter interview that he gave uh, like five years ago or so. But he was so right uh, on what he said. Why um, we act the way we act. We want to create impact. We want to feel the emotion of getting likes on TikTok or Facebook. You know, it's an addiction. And he talks about the um, instant gratification. So what gives you more instant gratification than helping someone? But, well the capacity or the ability of being recognized by doing something good. Everybody will love you. You want to be loved by everyone. It's it's That's the whole thing, create an impact. So that's why I was thinking maybe social entrepreneurship was like created on our generation, on the millennials generation, I don't know. 
Actually, the TED talk that you shared with us like two classes ago mentioned that in the back in the 1600s, mm -hmm. like uh, the church and certain uh, religious groups will like uh, fill in that blank that we have now of social entrepreneurship. So I don't know if they qualify as a social entrepreneurship. <laughs> Um, yeah, based on a video we watched, a short video, remember it said that before all of this, um, before actually the welfare, it was the church and some social organizations, as Gracias mentioned it, that were in charge of helping a society through shelters, giving free food, and so on, charities charities and actually i don't know but when i watch some movies and i i see millionaires or well batman batman this series you know when i was a kid i used to watch batman and bruno diaz used to go very often to charity events to donate money and it was about who gave the biggest amount of money right uh, I, I don't know. And that's like a relief for the reach, you know, on their consciousness to give give money like that. I don't know. That's my judgment. So how many are we? We are 11. Man, I don't know. How are we going to do this? I'll send you a link to your WhatsApp. I hope you're paying attention and everybody participates because if not, this is not going to work. So what are we doing? We want to play a game. I don't know if you heard about Jeopardy. Have you heard about Jeopardy? You know how to play Jeopardy? Have you seen The Bucket List with Morgan Freeman and Jack Nicholson? No? Antes de partir? Morgan Freeman? I can't believe you haven't watched that movie, Gracia. It's an amazing movie. They are both dying of cancer. And they come up with the bucket list, which is an experiment, a social experiment, by the way, uh, that was written at a university. And it's just writing, what will you do if you knew that you're going to die in three months or two months or a month? What things that you had never done would you do if you had all the resources, you know, you had the money and whatever you want? What, are, what what would you do? Where would you go? Who would you go with? So Morgan Freeman writes a letter, where, right, starts writing a, a list of things that he will do. And um, Jack Nicholson is the one that has the money. So you should watch that movie, The Bucket List. So why The Bucket List? Because Morgan Freeman is very wise. He's a mechanic. He's a very humble guy but he loves playing Jeopardy. So to play Jeopardy, if you, you're given the answer, you're given the answer first, and then you have to make the question, okay? You have to give the answer as a question. So if, for example, I say, um, a teacher and students, learning English, a teacher and students learning English. What is the answer? English no, what is an English class? What's an English class, for example? Um, if I say, but you always have to answer with what, okay? What? Um, is a bever uh, a beverage made with grains and typically with some sugar. <laughs> Gracias. Uh, what is coffee? That's it. What is coffee? Okay. A man repairs cars for a living. What is a um, mechanic? What is a mechanic? What is a mechanic? There you go. Okay. That's it. That's the, the way you have to answer. Now, 
I'm giving you the answers. So if you find the answer on this list, just shout the question. In fact, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds for around 30 seconds to answer the first question, okay? So I'm going to show the board on the screen. You see the screen? Yes, it should. Yes, it should. Okay, so we're gonna learn the vocabulary. I send you the glossary of terms. So for example, I'm going to go on order on the order that you appear on my screen. So first I have Gracia Diaz. And Gracia has to select, for example, sustainability one, two, three, four, or five, and the number that she wants. The more points she gets, she has more chances to, to win. Do you want me to choose one? Yes, please. Uh, sustainability number three uh, on the 40 row. 40? Yes. Okay. So, for 40 points, this thing, ouch. Okay, for 40 points, a network between a company, oh, it's just six seconds, and its suppliers to produce and distribute a specific product to the final buyer. What is, what is your supply chain? Maybe? What is supply chain? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yes, you got it. You got the 40 points. I think you got the idea, right? Great job. Go take notes of your points because I don't know what else to do. Let me see. Is there a way to... Oh, yeah, there's a way to do it. 30 seconds. Okay. That's unfair for Gracia, but she got the 40 points. Okay. So, Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar, tell me, which which one will you choose? Mm -hmm. Oh, um, I don't know. For this points, the one, two, the second. The second column, okay, sustainability two for how many points? 50. 50. Oh my no. God. Oh, oh. Okay, ready. <laughs> Let's see. A collection of 17 interlinked global goals designed to end poverty. It's on the list on your WhatsApp. So you can look for the answer really quick. A collection of 17 interlinked global goals designed to end poverty. We saw that yesterday. The 70s. <laughs> <laughs> My bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time's up. Uh, collections is zero. Oh my god, I forgot. No. Okay, who has the answer? Remember, try to answer with a question. What is? Yeah, <laughs> gracias. Okay. What is sustainable development goals? SDGs. Oh my god. <laughs> Is the yes, yes, sustainable what development goals? Sorry, sustainable development goals. Thank you. Oh my god, just got 90 points. Come on, guys. I'm going with Jose Wilfredo Ayala. Okay, I choose. Um... Or column or 40 points. 40 points, okay. Sustainability four for 40 points. Activities, usually marketing intended to make people believe a company is doing more to protect the environment than it really is. Usually marketing intended to make people believe a company is doing more to protect the environment than it really is. Wow. It 
It's on the G. It's on the what? It begins with a G. It begins with a G. It starts with a G. The answers are on your WhatsApp. <laughs> I got the answer. <laughs> Let me give you a clue. You can do control F on that page and look for keywords like activities, usually marketing. Um, what about green washing? Green washing. Uh -huh. Activities usually marketing intended, yes. Yes, you got it. Okay, you got 40 points, you see? Easy. Okay, William Alexander, are you there? Yeah. Okay. Sustainability, one, two, three, four, or five, for how many points? <clears throat> okay. Sustainability, one. Uh... Yeah. Um, for 10, 10 points. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, 10 points. Getting yourself from A to B by walking or cycling also includes other physical activities like running, skateboarding, and scudding. Scudding. Okay. There you go. Oh, active transport. Active transport. What's active transport? You got it. <laughs> you see, this is so easy. Come on, I'm giving you the answers. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Dora Elizabeth. And sustainability one and 20. 20 points, okay. Able to break down and blend back in with the earth. I don't know. <laughs> Able to break down and blend back in with the earth. So it's like you can take it back and put it back onto the earth without affecting the environment. Uh, no. Okay, who wants to help? Who wants this 20 points? Gracia, okay. Recyclable? Reci no. Somebody else? <laughs> Um, what are biode biodegradable? <laughs> Close, biodegradable. Yes, biodegradable. Great job, <laughs> biodegradable. Okay, take notes of your points. Let's see who else is here. David Galdames, are you with us? Ah, oh, he might be still with the meeting. Okay, Steve. Me copias, Capi, 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 me copias, Capi. <laughs> it sounded just like the movie with the sound effect. Copy, Capi, 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 you copy me. <laughs> Man, Endgame is the best thing of Marvel. Okay, uh huh. Steve. Okay. The, the last one. The, no. Yes. 50 oh. points of sustainability, five. Uh -huh. A management concept whereby companies integrate social and environmental concerns. Come again. Administration, I don't know. A 
Okay, uh, if you know the answer, you can also type it on the chat. Oh my God, your microphone is terrible. Try, try to type it on the chat if you know the answer. Oh, that was so easy. Steve Rogers is typing. Oh. Okay, not on this chat, not on the WhatsApp. Let me try turning on his microphone again. What's the answer? Ow. I don't know. Okay, you don't know? Okay, someone else? Corporate social responsibility. Yes, that's from another module, guys. CSR, corporate social responsibility. A management concept whereby companies integrate social and environmental concerns. But there's more to say on that one. In their business operations, so they incorporate um, social responsibility, right, into their businesses. Just remember the topic. Great job. Uh -huh. Jarvin, Jarvin Isaac. Would you like okay, to give it a sure. shot? The second column, 10 points. 10 points, okay. Oh, come on. A target of sending no waste for disposal via landfill or burning. Okay, let me share it. A target of sending no waste for no, I don't have the answer. You don't have the answer? No. Oh, come on. No, no. Sending no waste for disposal via, via, I'm sorry, landfill or burning. Somebody? Zero waste. Zero waste. Yes. No waste at all. Great job. Okay. Let me see. I have Francisco Eduardo. Good teacher. Okay, Francisco, choose one of the blanks or yellow numbers. Uh, 20, teacher. 20, which column? Sustainability, one, two, three, four, or five. Well, two, three, four, or five. In the column three. The third column, okay. The collective value of all social networks. The collective value of all social networks. The collective value of all social networks. No. I don't know. No, not this one. Somebody? Oh, sir. Steve sent a message to the chat. Steve sent a message. Oh, okay, you got it, <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> I just remember a joke. Okay. Let's see. Social capital. Okay, that points. Social capital. Okay. Free will. Who wants to continue? Iliana, yeah, Iliana, okay, Iliana raise her hand and then we have Gracia. Uh, hi, Iliana. Okay, sustainability five, no, sustainability four, four, 50 points. That's been great, yeah. Gases that trap heat in the atmosphere, including carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. This is the trap hitting the atmosphere and clean carbon dioxide. Fifties are more difficult. Mm. Okay. Oh, oh, I forgot you're listening to that sound, right? <laughs> Greenhouse gas gases. Green, green greenhouse gases. Yes, greenhouse <laughs> gases. Yay! Keep your keep your um score, okay? Gracias. Yeah. Uh, sustainability three fifty points. Please. Sustainability three fifty points. Remember to make the answer as a question, guys. A balance of society, economy, and environment for long term resilience. This one had to do with the companies. Uh, what is sustainability? What is sustainability? Yes, you got it. A balance of society, economy, and environment for long-term resilience. Great job. Okay. Who wants to continue? The last 50. Last 50, okay, Jose Wilfredo. The ability of an organization to adapt in a changing environment. How do you call that ability? Business resiliency? Resiliency? Yes, business resiliency. Resilience. Business resilience. Excellent. Business resilience. The ability of an organization to adapt in a changing environment. Uh, I want to stop for a minute here. Take a break. This is very important. Resilience is, is, is a topic that has been ringing many bells during the last two years especially on kids, if you teach a person how to res be resilient, to be resilient, uh, that person will have nothing to fear. And that's what society is missing right now. How to adapt to many changes, you know, how to adapt to uh, our changing environment. That That's crucial, especially for a kid. You know, being resilient is... Um, what we were talking about yesterday, right? How to face society, how to face challenges. Man, that's that's an awesome topic if you want to look for it. Okay, who wants to move on? We're almost done. Steve, get another, give it another shot, Steve. Okay, 40 points. Sustainability two. Okay, okay. An approach to problem solving that views problems as part of a wider dynamic system. Let's 
better. Okay. But we cannot hear you now. <laughs> and again, let, let's do that. Text the answer. Text the answer. We're going to wait for you. I, I know you know it. An approach to problem solving that views problems as part of a wider dynamic system. Systems thinking, you got it. Yay. <laughs> Systems thinking. Man, this is crucial for many companies, but some of them go to bankruptcy because they don't take this into consideration. You have to consider many factors. And being a decision maker in your company is so difficult I, that's a challenge and I have I have had few bosses few bosses that were able to to put the whole picture together you know before making up a decision every question you ask to your boss if he doesn't consider all factors involved he's not a good decision taker don't you think yes. man uh, anyways okay who's next Dora try it again Uh, the first column, 30. The third, 30, 30 points, okay. Economic activities that create sustainable wealth from the world's oceans and coasts. Mm. That's part of the first ones. Economic activities. That's among the bee, among the, the bees. Activities to claim. Economic activities to create sustainable wealth. Sustainable wealth. That's a dream for every human being, sustainable wealth. <laughs> <laughs> Um, blue economy. Yes, you got it. That's blue economy. Blue economy, sustainable wealth. Uh, I like that part from the world's oceans and coasts. Okay. Who's next? William, did you fall asleep? <laughs> Jarvin, Francisco, Fernando. I miss on the cloud. Oh, yes, Anna Claus is not here. Yeah. <laughs> she will be excited because she's very competitive. Okay, continue, girls. Who's next? Okay, Ileana. Okay, sustainability one, 40 points. The underlying structure of how a company creates, delivers, and captures value. Business model. This, oh my God. What is business model? They're perfect. What's business model? Okay. We're almost done. Who's next? Gracias. Okay. okay. Sustainability five for 40 points, please. <laughs> Discarded electric, I'm sorry, electronic appliances such as mobile phones, computers, and televisions. E waste. E waste. Oh my God. <laughs> Good job. That's e waste. What is e waste? 
What's e-waste? What's e-waste? Okay. Who's next? Come on, don't be shy. I will. Okay. Two, mm -hmm. two, uh, the 30. 30 points. Okay. A business uh, model that describes the full range of activities needed to create a product or service. Value, value chain. Value chain. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Value chain. Yes, you got it. I hope you're keeping the score. Who's next? <laughs> Ileana's like, oh, I want to do it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Ileana. Okay. Uh, sustainability three for 30 points. Of course. Businesses that operate to tackle social problems, improve communities, or the yeah. environment. social enterprise a social enterprise you got it that's Yay. a social enterprise what is social enterprise you got what it social enterprise yeah <laughs> okay you know in the real program if you don't say what is you don't get the points okay <laughs> let's do it who's next <laughs> i think that's it was <laughs> yeah go ahead guys yeah uh, sustainability for 30 points, please. Okay. A vehicle primarily powered by a conventional internal combustion engine, but supplemented with power from regenerative braking. What is hybrid vehicle? Vehicle? What's vehicle? a hybrid vehicle? Vehicle. vehicle. Uh, yes, what's a hybrid vehicle? You got it. Hey, not an easy word, vehicle, vehicle, not a common word, I should say. Let me see if I can mute this. Oh, last 30. You must what? I go for the last 30. Okay. There you go. I just mute the site so we don't get the two. Last 30, okay. The avoidance of investment in activities considered unethical and unsustainable. An eth uh, ethical investment? What's ethical investment? What's eth yes, eth what's investment. ethical investment? You got it. Okay, what's next? <laughs> uh huh. Come on, don't be shy. Just do it. I want it. <laughs> okay. Um, sustainability for for twenty points. A source of financial services for individuals or small businesses lacking access to traditional banking services. <gasps> We saw this topic two days ago. Microfinance? What is microfinance? What's microfinance? Mm, yes. I was thinking something else. Oh, my God. Just got it. I was thinking about the other thing that we started. Okay. What's next? Gracias. Do it. Okay, uh, sustainability five for 20 points, please. An alternative approach to conventional trade. Uh, what is fair trade? What is fair trade? You got it. That's fair trade. Okay. Jose Wilfredo? Yeah, the last 20. Last 20, okay. A term sometimes used to describe a product or service that creates no CO2. Just give me a second, because my computer is stuck. I'm unable to see. 
Hmm. Uh, my computer is stuck. Let's see the screen. Cold tech support. <laughs> Seriously, if you haven't watched the bucket list, guys, be my guest. That's that's a great movie, and, and you will learn some things. Actually, it gives you some lessons, like for example, what Egyptians used to think when you go to heaven, how how you access heaven when you die. Well, they just make two questions. Let me make these two questions to Gracia. Let's pretend that Gracia is in heaven already, in the Egyptian heaven, to access the other life. Gracia, were you happy? Am I supposed to actually answer it or just? <laughs> yeah, just answer it. Were you happy? Yes. Yes, okay. Did this happiness that you experienced brought happiness to others? Yes? Okay, yeah. welcome to heaven. <laughs> it's like, yeah. That's part of it. You know, there are so many lessons, stories from books, sayings, jokes, man. And the Kapilua Cafe. It's so funny. Anyways. Uh-huh. A term sometimes used to describe a product or service that creates no CO2. Zero carbon. <laughs> What's zero carbon? Zero carbon. What's zero carbon? <laughs> oh, you got it. Yes, I was thinking about carbon emissions actually, but no. Okay, good job. Uh huh. Next, we're only missing three, and then the final question, and that's it. Yeah, Elena, go. Okay, um, sustainability five. An increase in the world's average temperature due to human activities such as such as burning fossil fossil fuels fossil fuels. Hmm, I'm doubting about my pronunciation. What's, uh -huh. what's what's global warming? What's what's global warming? Warming. Mm -hmm. Fossil. Fossil. Fossil fuels. Fossil fuels. What's global warming? Yes, you got it. Gracias. Three or four. Uh, Energy that comes from natural resources that are constantly replenished. Energy what is, that what is renewable energy? Excellent. What is renewable energy? Renewable, renewable. And Jose Wilfredo, small pieces of plastic, less than five millimeters in length. He left. He got disconnected. Maybe his computer was restarted. Okay, someone else? Small pieces of plastic, less than five millimeters in length. What is microplastics? Micro <laughs> <laughs> you, you, both, you both got it. Yeah, what is microplastics? Okay. Now, you girls. Gracia, Ileana, turn on your microphones. For the final question, which is not on that list. Oh, oh my God. It's not on the list. But if you <laughs> answer, you're the winner, okay? Let's go to the final question. How do I do that? I don't know. Okay, a person who establishes an enterprise with the aim of solving social problems or affecting social change. What is a social entrepreneur? <laughs> what is a social entrepreneur? Oh my God, she's on fire. <laughs> like, it's like, yes. Yay, the winner. Okay, did you like it? Yep. We can use that tool for many things, actually. 
I love it. That's instant Jeopardy review. I'll send you the link to that Jeopardy board so you can use it whenever you want. And that's the glossary of terms. My computer is restarting. I will I will back as soon as possible. Okay, restarting. That's VVW. Why VVW? Okay. What's up next? With that link that I send you, I'm challenging you to create a paragraph of five lines, okay? Be smart, use the concepts and pretend that you're giving a speech to your company. What could you do to help the environment to come up with a social entrepreneurship that will help you? For example, uh, just read it any. Um, getting yourself from A to B, walking or cycling, Huh. And using biodegradable raw materials will help the company. We need to be part of the blue economy and create activities that create sustainable sustainable wealth from the world's oceans and coasts. I think that our business models can change, okay, and deliver and capture more value. on the way we make money. <laughs> Our company can adapt in, in a changing environment to enable it to achieve its objectives and prosper. Considering, you see my point? I'm just taking words from the glossary involving um, all of the words that we have started on this Jeopardy, but it's on the list. So just like Ratatouille, surprise me, okay? <laughs> Try to make five lines as simple as that, but make sense, okay? Make sense. Try to make sense. Does that sound like a plan? Okay. Um, in LA, I'm trying to log in. List. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, Juan Miguel. Bring me something. Well, Miguel is overseas, is out of El Salvador. Oh my God. Take care. Okay, I'm splitting you guys in small groups. Let's try to work together into these five lines, okay? Okay, let's go. David, okay. Hey, teacher, I have to back with my cell phone because my computer is running some of these. Okay. So okay, let me add you to a group. There you go. Okay. We're we're creating yeah. a speech, a speech using the 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 new vocabulary on, on that page, okay? On the glossary. Okay. 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 Cool. Okay, so um, maybe we can start with something that has to do with climate change, <laughs> like considering climate change and all of its effects. We can, we should make conscious Consumerism. And avoid uh, uh, 
what should we avoid? <laughs> plastic, for example. I'm sorry? Consume plastic. Uh, or maybe producing microplastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Know that we can use another word. <clears throat> and pursue maybe. Um, I'm sorry? Biodegradable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. And pursue biodegradable product as well. Another good practice. Could include a hybrid vehicle. Vehicle. And what else? Ah, and recycling as much as possible. Maybe use a, a bicycle to transport. Oh, there was a word, right? Active transport. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Rizal, but you need to explain us because we are just arriving. Okay, it's very simple actually. If you take the glossary that you have on your WhatsApp, uh, you just need okay. to create. You just need to create a little, a little um, excerpt of five lines. You know, using the terms, the definitions that you have on the glossary. Okay, by line. Yeah. Uh, pre pretend, pretend that you are, you're giving a little speech to okay. your, to your yes, company yes. on how to become more environmentally friendly, more, you know, based on the three pillars of social pillar, the economic pillar, and the environmental pillar. That's it. Excellent. Uh, uh, social, environmental, and economic. Economic. All right, and there is a glossary. Okay, yeah, now that's, I am, I that's am the whole point. Turning on my computer. Okay, cool. I'll give you some minutes, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. What time is it in California, Juan Miguel? It is eight and thirty-five. Eight thirty-five. Yes. Oh, you're one hour behind. Yeah. Okay. Large is my shirt, eh, Juan Miguel. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help. I couldn't hear you. Large. A goofy shirt. Large. <laughs> mm. 
Mm -hmm. Working hard or hardly working? Why are you so quiet? <laughs> I don't know. We're thinking, we think. Think. Gracia is done almost. What? Really? She's almost done. Just think that you are giving a speech at your company, encouraging the board to become more environmental friendly. You know, remember the three pillars? Economic, social, social, economic, and environmental pillars if you remember those three you know taking words off the glossary will be easy
Sorry, I think you're ready, right? Uh, yeah, we, we just had to write down five, five, about five sentences, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're ready. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go back. Okay, sorry guys, I was just trying to get updated with something. Okay, so uh, I would like to set the pace because I, I saw you guys working. So I would like to set the pace with uh, with Gracia and Williams' uh, little brief speech. I, I think it was good. If you want to share it, it's okay. If you want to read it, it's, it's okay as well. The rest of you, please pay attention, okay? Listen. I don't know if William would like to give it a go. Sorry? Would you like to read out loud the, the little paragraph I produced? Considering climate change and all of its effects, we should make conscious cons consumerism and avoid using one single plastic product, which produce uh, microplastics. We should pursue um, biodegradable products and as well as nature-based solutions, such as composable packaging. Another good practice could include hybrid vehicle using usage and recycle it as much as possible. We could also consider active transport as a way of moving ourselves in the city. This way we'll be reducing our carbon footprint by taking climate action and together make a collective impact. That's it, teacher. Okay, as you heard, this uh, brief speech is addressed, is there directed to, uh, let's think of like a board of directors from the company or trying to make some consciousness on, on, on the company, raise, raise some consciousness, uh, you know, about environmental change and things that could really be done in the company to improve. That was really good, yeah. Okay, David, great. Oh. 
Oh, Jose, I'm sorry. Yeah. Would you like to continue? Jose Wilfredo? Okay, teacher. So, in this case, when you think about creating a, so, a social enterprise, it is not just about doing going, uh, good things. You must think about sustainability and how your good or service will impact outside. Part of the activities that are implicit in our business model is recycling to improve the generation of the environment. Remember that today, CSR costs further, so let's start the change. That has some taste like marketing, good job. <laughs> it's like selling hey, the plan. Liliana ideas. Hey, good, good. Really, but it sounds like selling the plan. I liked it. Okay, and the last group. Uh, David. Sorry, I was talking with my mic. Okay, can we share the the the? Sure. The yes, there are some of the I script. I I don't know if Luis Albert can can speak now to read the first part. Luis Albert, are you there? No. No, I'm Maybe. there, but I don't know if is if you hear me in, in the good way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Uh, we can yes. hear okay. you. Okay, okay. Today I start before you to emphasize the urgent, the urgent need for action or climate change, and the pivotal role that businesses play in shaping our future. It's imperative that we embrace sustainable practice and foster an, a circular economy where resources are utilized effectively. We must reduce our carbon emissions and stride towards carbon neutrality, leave behind a smaller carbon footprint. footprint. Okay, I read the last part. As we embark this transformative journey, businesses must display resilience and adapt their models to align with environmental and social objectives. Corporate social responsibility must become ingrained in their TNN, DNA, promoting conscious consumerism and conscious capitalists. That's all, teacher. Okay. That was good as well. Great job. You see, now with this, I, I was expecting you to understand that it's so easy to adapt uh, ideas into speech, right? That's the whole point. Um, think about, and this is this is very interesting, how your brain is affected by uh, what it perceives from your environment. If you're reading something that is kind of related, your brain is capable of adapting the ideas without you even noticing, but if you read those terms, those definitions multiple times, little by little, your brain starts adapting the information. That's critical. Um, for example, what color is the cup that I was drinking water of? If you saw me drinking water, what was the color of the cup? It was green. <laughs> what? It was green. It was yep. green, Pink. right? <laughs> you got it. What was Ileana's color? The Ileana's cup. Don't show white. What? White. 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 <laughs> hmm. What do you think, guys? Was it white? Yep. Whitish. <laughs> Whitish. Hey, good job. Ileana, can you show it? <laughs> it's like light blue and little transparent crystal now just to finish this class because you did a great job i'm gonna share with you right now something let's watch this short video is kind of like seven minutes so you're gonna get jealous right now it's an old video it was uploaded like i don't know 11 years ago so sorry for the bad images i don't know a pixelated images, but pay attention. This is your dream job, okay? Watch that video.
you send it to WhatsApp.
Oh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you reach the part of of the electric cars. Did you did you see the electric cars? No. <laughs> I saw the part of the massage. Oh my god. The laundry, the part of the laundry. The laundry. Could you imagine having a laundry room? A laundromat and in, in your job? I mean, do you think that's too much? <laughs> We'll talk about that tomorrow, okay? Find what parts of this company help what we have studied so far. Sustainability, environmental, eco-friendly, you know, so many words that come to my mind right now. Okay, guys, time's up, but tomorrow we're going to talk about this. Try to be on time, if possible. I know you're working all the time, so. Okay, let me do the attendance, and tonight I'm staying with who? I stood up with Wendy and William already. I'm restarting, I'm resetting. So, David, if you have 10 minutes, that will be great. I, I, <laughs> are I you just continue? arriving home. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Dora, Dora, are you there? Will you stay 10 minutes? Mm, okay. Sure, okay. Not a problem. So, let's do the attendance. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez was absent today. Hope she's fine. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. He's there. Okay. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Thank you. Gracias, Elizabeth Diaz Vasquez. Present. Good night. Good night. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jososmin Rivas Navas. Here today. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Juan Miguel Brown Mejia. He got disconnected, but he was here for a minute. In the USA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Good night. Hey, good night. Thank you for staying, guys. See you tomorrow. See you. Okay, Dora, good evening. Good evening, teacher. It has been raining all day, right? Uh, early is raining, it starts raining, but after it stopped, the raining is so hot. It's now hotter, yeah. I heard you live in Sacamil. Yes, I live yeah. in Sacamil. <laughs> I, I used to live there in Los Alamos. Near. I live near in uh, living Jardine de Sacamil. Jardine de Sacamil. No, is that close to La PNC? No. No. Near eh, eh, los behind the the Alamos there are a, a building to there are some buildings, uh huh. In this place. Oh, the apartments. The apartments, yes. I see. Do you remember uh, Don Frank? Yeah, yes. Does yes. he still, is, is it still there? No, he died in oh, really? the pandemic for COVID. Oh, my God. Yes. That's so sad. Do they still sell tortas and everything? Yes. Her, his wife is, is working. Okay. Oh, that's so sad. Didn't know that. When I lived in Los Alamos, uh, we installed the doors, the gates. You know, we closed the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Because before you used to, you used to be able to, to go around and mm -hmm. go through Los Alamos and come to the other side of the street. But there were, there were too many thieves you know yes mm -hmm. yeah so we we close the gates we we install gates with 
a key. Every neighbor has a key for the gates. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I I love that place because it was huge. I mean, you could go anywhere as a kid, playing around your buildings and all these places. Yes, it's, it's near all is near everything is near yes the, market, market. the the little market little market not not the market from sacamil but the little market la, la rosario ah, la placita right oh mm. my god i love that place but the houses were very small for us so mm. we sold the house and we we moved to alto de montevideo i don't know if you know that place Around mm. Colegio Genesis? No. No? In La Constitución? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm. We're we're in a bigger house, but I miss I miss going there. I miss mm. Los Alamos. Sometimes I go to, to El Mercado, to Sacamil. Mm. It's good. I like eating there. There are some good places. How long have you lived there? Um, maybe more than 30 years. Over 30 years? Yes. Wow, it's a long time. And do you live on the first or the second floor? First. On the first floor. <laughs> yes. Do you have to go up some stairs? Uh, no. To go, to go out of the house? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a nice place. So, w can you tell me what's your daily routine? I mean, what do you do? In, In general. What do you do? Or, or what? Or what? A, a regular day. What do you do, Dora? My is is my lobby, I think is routine. In the morning, go to the work, go all day. Uh, in the afternoon, come back to a house. In this case, I uh, receive my my English class, but in other days, sometimes I uh, uh, watch TV or read uh, some, some book. Okay. Uh, or, or I receive uh, 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 other seminaries. Hmm. Where do you work? In an accountant office. An accountant office, accounting office. Wow. So you're an accountant? Yes. I accountant. Wow, for a long time. Yes, always in in the, the in the first in my uh, when I was a teenager, I was uh, working with with a uh, aunt, but it's a uh, uh, the other forms. But when I started a uh, uh, work uh, formally. Uh, just only in, in account, accountant. Only in accountant. Wow. So you have to, yeah, you have to go to seminars every every year. And I have to receive 40 hours. Every year? Every year. Be how do you call these rules? Every year you have to update your... Oh my God, I forgot the name of these rules for accountants. I can't remember. <laughs> it's just the rules that you have to learn every year, right? Because they get updated, updated, and they give you a certification that you know this. Oh, I forgot the name. It's credential. It's a credential, yes. yes. I can remember. There's a name for that for accountants. So, how do you feel? You're about to graduate. Yeah. I, I, I believe it. it's, it's a, oh my God, I don't know. I, I, I think it's, 
I think the is the other partners is is more more noble than me. Yeah, oh, is but I, I try to learn, but I I can understand you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's good. That's all that matters. That whenever you need English. You can communicate. That's yeah. important. It's very important in an emergency. And you you have to speak English. Oh my God, let's do it. And that's it. <laughs> that's in the my, important thing. In my last summer, uh, I visited Germany in, in Christmas. Very good. Really? In, yes. In the April, only English. Uh, oh yeah. Question in English and in, in yeah yeah I I answer in English yeah. they understand me. <laughs> That's good. Oh. Yeah. You were happy, I guess. Happy. That's awesome. Oh my god. Well, thank you for staying with me this 10 minutes. We will see tomorrow, okay? Please don't miss the class. Okay, thank you. Good, good night. night.